What's up, you guys? Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. My name is Ariana, if you guys are new. And, oh yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, am I recording? I am. Good. How do you guys like um, the setup? I'm really enjoying these talks. Like, I'm really enjoying sitting down and talking to you guys. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Because I could do this all day. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, so welcome back to the channel. Um, this video is going to be similar to another one that I made in regards to... Um, you know, being classy and sexy at the same time, y'all. But um, I'm kind of piggybacking off of that one. And this one is just going to help you just think about it. Just think just think about this video, okay? Just, just think about it. I'm not telling you what to do, but just think about it. So, leaving things to people's imagination is amazing. Letting people wonder is not a bad thing. One of the things that I've learned in regards to human nature is that we're very curious people. I was just talking to a friend about this and how we're very curious people. We want to know things, right? We don't just want a little taste. We don't just want a little teaser. We want to know. We want to see all of it, okay? And sometimes the unknown makes us hungry to know. We will do anything we can to find out. So when it comes to us as women and portraying ourselves on the internet, um, whether it's through, you know, like I said, how, how we dress, um, how we present poses on the internet, the things that we talk about freely. It all comes down to, like I've always said, what you want to be remembered by. Now, going into leaving things to people's imagination, what I mean by that is let people wonder what you look like without giving it all to them. Try and see how that is for you. Yeah, you might not get the likes. Yeah, you might not get all the views. But gosh darn it, at least you're gonna go to sleep with knowing I, I respect my dang self enough not to show everything. Because I'm telling you, I, 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 I'm telling you, all this reflection got me thinking. And I was like, let me just speak to my girls. Let me speak to my sisters out there. Because we know that we know that sex sells, okay? We know that being more hypersexual sells. We know what we're doing when we're posting what we're posting regardless of if it's cleavage, if it's booty cheeks, it don't matter. We know what we're doing. We, we, you can't tell me that you've never been a girl that posted a picture. Let me take a picture so that they, they can, um, so my ex can see it. Let me post a picture so the guy that I'm talking to that's ignoring me can see it. Attention. Attention, attention, attention. Sometimes it's not always the best attention and sometimes it's not good attention. Think about how it would be if you lived the rest of your life leaving things to people's imagination. Let them wonder. Let them not be able to say, I know where all of her creases are. I know where all of her stretch marks are. I know every mold on her body because she shows she showed it all. The one thing we got to think about is who pays for Instagram every month? Who pays for Facebook? Who pays for YouTube? 
Yeah, you could say all these little memberships, subscriptions. No, Let, let's be real. Who's paying for these apps? No one. It's free. <laughs> Without realize, like, girl, my cute little swimsuit videos and pictures. I'm like, people can just scroll. They could just type in your name and find it. Back in the day, you look. It was never that easy to find people that looked sexy on the internet because Instagram came when I was, what, in high school? This came about in 2010-ish, I think, like 2010 is when Instagram was created. I don't know. I don't know. That the, I don't know. I don't remember. But I know it was around that time, the early, the, the, the mid-2000s, you feel me? Not mid-2000s, but early 2000s. <laughs> And I'm just like, oh my God, that things have things have just changed, like changed drastically. And I was a part of that change for a little bit of time. I realized, man, I mean, just thinking about how the things have changed really just got to me in the past couple months. I said, yo, I'll be going at this, I'll be going at this the wrong way. I've always loved when a guy that I would talk to tells me, like, yo, you're bad. Like, you're bad. And I'm like, thank you. Like, you know, you're you're beautiful. I mean, you look good. And it's like they they follow up with that type of compliment by saying, I didn't know what your body really looked like until we went out or we went on a first date type thing. And then I was able to see Okay, I mean, yeah, I mean, the, the face matches everything else type thing, right? Because they say that right when you go to somebody's Instagram, you kind of could get a little bit of where their head is at. You don't know nobody. You don't know what they're going through, what, what they do with their life. But all we can do is go based off of the perception that people give. And a lot of the times... If you're scrolling through these apps, you're going to see the perception of, look at my body. Look at me shake a little butt. Look at me look good. There's so many apps that we can go to for attention and get paid to look good. And dance and look good in the camera for a little cha-ching. But how would you feel if you started to tone that down how would you feel would you feel good would you feel like you're losing income if you do that would you feel like you're going to lose fans if you left more to the imagination let people be curious it's really not a bad thing at all just to be more it's being more conscious i would say be more conscious of what you're posting be more conscious of the people that have access to what you're posting as i get older and think about you know family and having kids one day i truly you know, want my kids to remember me as somebody that have respect for themselves. Now, I know people may, you know, not be happy about what I'm saying because people think that, oh, I'm living free. I'm doing what I want to do. And what, what, what are we saying it is like, I forget what we, what, what women like to say, but it's like, you know, living this promiscuous lifestyle and stuff is a good thing. And personally, I don't think it is. I think that saving yourself for, and even if you don't want marriage, just saving yourself for yourself is, a, is okay. Even if you don't want a long lasting relationship, which majority of us do, majority of us do, we want a man we want to be filled. We want to feel secure. We want our man to feel secure. 
one of the things that I never agreed with is how women like to say that men are insecure because they don't want you to be showing all of what you got when you when you go out with him or without him. Like, I mean, <laughs> like, why are you getting mad at your man for only wanting what you look like shown to him? Like, what? How does that make him insecure? You get what I'm saying? How does that make a man insecure? That's really not even a question. I know y'all might still answer it, but <laughs> I just realized, you know, girl, you could be the baddest thing ever and not have to make it seem like that from what you're posting. Because when I think of a bad B, right? I don't even go based off of looks. That's my opinion about it. That's my definition. A bad B is somebody who got it up here and they got the looks. How about that? Like they smart and they got the looks to match. So that's bad to me. I mean, that that's pretty bad. That's pretty dangerous. You feel me? That's sexy. A sexy mind. A sexy heart. And a sexy body. <laughs> That ain't shown to everybody and their mama. Know and remember, like, you got to remember, people could do anything with your photos. They could do anything with your videos. No matter if you're dressed in a turtleneck or if you're dressed in a swimsuit. People could do anything with them. But which one would you rather go viral with? The swimsuit or the turtleneck? I'd rather go viral with the turtleneck on. <laughs> you can know that somebody has a nice body from even wearing a sweatshirt sometimes. You can see what I got right here, right through it. <laughs> like, so I don't have to emphasize that. You get what I'm saying? A lot of times we try to emphasize certain aspects, certain things that we're like, this is my most... Um, this is the best asset, a part of me, is my backside or my front side. Or just having curves. That's why BBLs are rampant right now. And women younger and younger, 18, 17 years old, get in BBLs. Before our bodies even really get into where womanhood can really take place. We're already trying to change it up. Because we know that, or we think, I should say, that will get us success. Now people will like me more. Now I'll get the views. Now I'll have the lifestyle. <laughs> so it's like, it's all about you controlling temptation and you controlling like how you present yourself or how you want to be you know, treated. And nobody's saying that even if you go in a turtleneck and, a, and or a low V cut shirt with your butt out, that somebody won't disrespect you. People can disrespect you no matter how you look. But how much are you giving them to? So this is, you know, for my girls out there who do want to try to change it up. Be a little classy and give a little sex appeal, but not too much. Nobody's talking about dress like a nun. <laughs> you don't have to dress like a nun. But it's okay to leave a little curiosity on the table. That's all. That's it. You don't have to be all up in the camera. <laughs> You know, all the stuff that we like to do to make people start feeling the type of way. Like, how many women out there want to have a guy respect their mind more than their body? How many women out there want a man to, or people in general, respect the knowledge that they have? more so than the sex appeal they give off.
be that girl this year. Change it up. See how it does for you. And the people that are not okay with that, let them go. Let them go. Because they were only there because of what you were providing them. Instant gratification and pleasure from what you were posting. So let them go. Let those birds be free out their cage, okay? <laughs> but honestly, you guys, um, hopefully this video resonates with you a little bit. We're only in February of this year. It's always time to change and let people see, like, nah, I'm not going to give you guys all that no more. I don't want to. I don't want to. Mm -mm, no more. <laughs> I want to save some for my king. You feel me? Even if you're a man, save a little bit for your queen. You ain't got to be all sexual on, on the internet. A lot. We've all been there. We've all been there. Where we tried a little bit of this, a little bit of that, possibly. But where does it get you to? Does it really get you to that happy place? Gotta think about it. <laughs>